Welcome, I've done a few different videos on upgrading hard drives in a Mac, and I'll put a link in the description to those videos. In this video I want to talk about a technique you can use to clone the OS. So what I'll be doing is I'll be installing a brand new operating system on here, and then I'll be migrating data to it. So what I have here is a computer. This is a Mac Mini, and this is a Sabrent USB 3.0 enclosure, and this is a Samsung SSD. So I'll put a link below to this enclosure and this SSD. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. And this works on systems that use a two and a half inch hard drive. If you use one that uses MVME, you'll need a different enclosure and hard drive for that. So I'm just going to insert this in here. This is not plugged in yet. And then this top will slide right on. And then I can plug it in. Now this enclosure and this hardware both support USB 3.0, so if you're using a different enclosure, make sure it matches what your hardware is. Now you can use a USB 3.0 enclosure with 2.0 hardware, but you'll want to use at least a 3.0 hard drive with a 3.0 hardware because it's a lot faster. So I need to switch this on back here and this light will be blue. And now I'll go into the system and we'll set this up. Okay, so I have the system booted up. I'll hit Command Space and I'll type in App Store. I'll go up here to search and I'll type Catalina and this will work with Mojave or any of the other systems too. And here we have it here, I'll hit view and I'll click get and this will take a little while to download. It says are you sure you want to download? I'll hit download. Okay, so my screen just went blank, and I kind of want to keep this open while I'm doing this. I don't want the computer to go to sleep. So in order to set that up, we'll go up here and click on this menu, and then we'll go into Mission Control, and then we'll go to Hot Corners, and I'll just set one of these corners to Disable Screen Saver, and I'll hit OK. Then I'll go back to where I was, and I'll just place my mouse in the bottom right, and that will keep this from falling asleep. Okay, so that has finished installing, so I'll close this. Now if you go into your hard drive here and go to Applications, you'll see this, it says Install Mac OS Catalina. So you can quit out of this or you can run it right now. So I'm going to hit Continue and then I'll Agree. It's asking where I want to install it. So you see I have the Mac hard drive and then the SSD here. So I'll say Show All Disks. And see that one is not available right now. It says the disk doesn't use the GUID partition table scheme, so we'll fix that. We'll go into Disk Utility, so I'll just hit Command Space, and I'll type in Disk Space Utility, and that will open up the Disk Utility. You want to go up to View and choose Show All Devices. Where this used to say Untitled, now it says ASMT2105. That's the chip that's inside of the external hard drive. So I want to click on that, and then I'll go up here to Erase. And before I set the format, I'll go down here to Scheme, and I'll change that to good partition map, and then I'll go to format, and since I'm using Catalina, I'll do APFS. The other system you could use would be Mac OS Extended, but APFS has some cool features in it, so I'll click on that, I'll hit Erase, then I'll hit Done, I'll close out of this, and now when we go back to the installer, we see this is available now, so I'll click on it, and I'll hit Install. It'll ask me for my password, I'll hit OK, Okay, so the system's been installed and we're at the configuration screen and we're at about an hour and six minutes since I started the screen capture. So I'll choose United States, I'll hit continue. I'll hit continue again. I'm plugged into ethernet, so I'll hit continue here. 
I'll hit continue on data and privacy, and now it says transfer information to this Mac. So you can skip this and run this later. It's under the applications, then utilities folder, and then it's called migration assistant, but I'm going to do that right now. So it says, how do you want to transfer your information? I'll say from a Mac, and then I'll hit continue. So it says select a Mac, Time Machine Backup, or other startup disk to transfer its information to this Mac. So if you have Time Machine set up, you can plug that in and use that. I'm going to just click on Mac Hard Drive because that's the system that's inside the Mac Mini right now. So I'll hit continue here. So I use File Vault on this Mac, so it wants me to enter my password, so I'll do that. So it says select information to transfer. So typically when I'm doing this, I'll transfer everything over. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to do my home account. So I'll unselect everything else. But typically you're going to want to select everything. So I'll hit continue. So it wants us to set a password. So I'll hit that and I'll enter a password in. So I'll hit set password. Then I'll hit continue. It says transferring your information. So hopefully this won't take too long because I didn't have anything on that account but the basic default stuff. Okay, that's finished, so I'll log in. So it's going through the initial setup. I'll say setup later. And I'm not going to share analytics with Apple. I'll hit continue here. Okay, so the keyboard assistant came up. I'll hit continue. I'll go through this. So I have two drives here. I have the Mac hard drive and Untitled, and it's kind of hard to tell which it's booted from here. But if you go to your Apple menu and say about this Mac, you'll see here it says startup disk is Untitled. So if I open this up, we'll see that the applications are just the default ones that Apple installs, and there's quite a few there. So on the Migration Assistant, if you had checked applications, it would have copied all of the applications over. It would have copied all the documents and everything else. And that can take quite a while. The nice thing about where we're at now, though, is that we can switch back to this drive. So if I go down to System Preferences here and go to Startup Disk, I can hit the lock here and type my password in. And then I can click on this hard drive to boot from it. So if you're upgrading this hard drive with this hard drive, what you want to do is do this procedure up to this point and then check everything out. Make sure your documents are in place, your applications work, and things like that. And then at this point, you can swap the drives out. Now, I will say it's best to have a time machine backup or something like that anytime you're messing with hard drive and just anytime in general. You can never tell when your hard drive is going to go bad and you're going to lose data. But specifically, when you're messing with the hardware, it's a good idea to have an external backup also. So at this point, you can shut the computer down, take the hard drive out of the external case, and swap it with the one in the computer and then it should just boot right up and be ready to go. So I'm going to demonstrate one more thing here. I'll go to the Apple symbol and I'll hit restart and I'm going to hold down the option key as it boots. Okay, so before I went to that startup disk manager, you can also hold down option when it boots and then you can choose which drive you want to boot from. So if you're on this new untitled drive and something doesn't look right, you can always reboot it and go back into your Mac hard drive to check it out. So I want to go back into untitled. I'll just hit the arrow here and it will boot. Okay, so it's all booted, and you can click on this and hit the enter key, and you can change this to something else, like Mac OS. So, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.